ッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタgive me some examples I'll wait don't tell me about a statue don't tell me about no classes in college I'm talking about really inspirational let's go yeah three left one back share this shit I'm gonna have it run up for about a good hour I'll ride home give me some good answers I ain't hating on Pac. I just wish she was more inspirational to people, but themselves are not inspir inspired by Pac. That's my problem. Somebody give me some answers. Who's, inspir who's inspired by Pac since he's been gone? Other than a statue or a college class. Name an artist. Name an actor. Huh? Yeah. Look at that. White women running, 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 running. Anyway. <laughs> What's up, Ray? What's up, Ray? Uh, I've been fighting mosquitoes all night, bro. I don't know how they got in this guard shack. But they were unsuccessful. I have no mosquito bites. Leroy, tell me an artist in the last 20 years who was inspired by Tupac. Name an actor. Anybody. I'll give y'all I'll give y'all a couple of issues, right? Do y'all know that the baby boy role was meant for Tupac and Tyrese act nothing like Pac? He just got a bald fucking head. Huh? <laughs> Come on, dog. People walking around this slow. Uh, listen, I love Pop the Dev, but he's not inspirational. You know what he's inspirational about? Thug shit. Niggas to keep that damn shit going. What? Yeah. This number keep going up and down. Somebody talk. I ain't finna pull the whack 100 move. I ain't gonna talk about his money. And, listen, I love his music. We don't be, we don't put R. Kelly in the class of pedophiles and perverts because he can sing. He can sing. He got a good voice. He got a good voice. I think it's too early for him. Oh, it is. You see the white girls just running? Child black asses up. <laughs> oh man, you know what? I bet it's I bet I bet it's black people today can't even quote every word to soldier story. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we quiet, huh? Straight before my niggas. How many people know how many how many people really like that album? I love it. That one and uh Topocalypse Now. I remember the original Humpty Dancer. Yeah, because he was originally a hype man. Let me let me put you out, let me put you out on a little secret. The people that inspired him to be an MC. Y'all ready for it? Uh, the dude that got killed in New York. What was his name? Uh, I can't remember his name. Help me out, Leroy. I know you know. The guy that got killed in New York. Um, he inspired him to be an MC. Spice One. 
uh, uh, shit. Help me out, help me out. Uh, MC Breed. You know what I mean? Talking about inspirational. What's up, what's up, Kelly? So, Lawrence. Lawrence of Arabia. Yeah, so I'm waiting on these answers. Ain't nobody told me shit yet. What makes Tupac so inspirational? Don't get me don't get it twisted. Big ain't inspirational at all, but uh telling stories. You know, like KRS one is inspirational. Rakim is inspirational. Kane is inspirational. Someone let me know what makes Tupac so inspirational. Other than the fact you love his bald head, handsome ass, and he can rap. And he got a charisma, he got ambition, he got flow. But who the fuck is doing that like him? And I ain't talking about copying. We talking about showing just as much. Jay-Z ain't got that fucking uh, aura of Pac. Is he a better MC? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, Pop was a great storyteller. Exactly. But what type of effect did he make? Last time I checked, uh, Boogie Down Bronx is a movement. Was a movement of one borough in New York. KRS-One invented a movement. Thug Life is not a movement. You got Boosie talking about Thug Life and he has no trail. He has no tr paper trail to be connected to even the fucking outlaws. He just started saying it because, hey, if I'm if I'm out here thugging, if I got the street cred, I could just say thug life. Tupac wasn't inspired, inspirational because I don't see a lot of people trying to be like Pop. Shout out to Crazy because Crazy was more so inspired by Pop. I hope crazy catch this. You know what I'm saying? Crazy no good crazy from the NO. I hope you see it because he on my list. You know? You know the one that sound like Tupac that was signing No Limit? He still lives. Still calling boys to pee. Gucci Man is more inspiring than Tupac today. Think online, look around the rap industry. Just look around. That's all you gotta do. Look around. That's the argument that me and my Kifo had last night in the middle of the morning. I was going I didn't want to do that because I want I'm gonna say that for YouTube. That Gucci Man is more inspiring than Tupac ever was. Gucci Man has at least 30 different artists that he's inspired. No bullshit. And look at what they do to Gucci now. That's a terrible role model. Of course he is. But so is Tupac. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but we look at KRS-1. Well, you know what young niggas will say about uh, KRS-1. Well. Oh, he whack. He boring. You know why? Cause Karis one ain't running around. He wasn't running around at the time. You know, it was a little violent, but it wasn't that major. Where he was like, yeah, let's bust heads and let's shoot everybody. Yeah, he had a little, you know, couple of, you know, little songs, you know. You know. But y'all, you know, y'all get my point. G-Rap was gangster. He told stories, story, story, uh, story, uh, sorry. He told stories too. Hold on one second. Yeah. I got a mirror in my pocket and I practice looking hard. What you think about that line? That line is kind of gay. <laughs> You practice looking hard. What do you mean, your face or your your penis? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> 
that didn't sound right. This thing is already ruined. Ruined. It's ruined. My window hood is ruined. I'll be back for part two. I'm actually off work. When I chase your ass with a Jason mask. Alright, so I'm waiting on the masks. Y'all, y'all, y'all got y'all thoughts together yet? Somebody, anybody. Oh, there go my favorite cousin that know about a lot of music. What is Tupac inspirational about? What is his inspiration to music, movies, anything? Like what real impact did Tupac really make in this society that we live in? Before you answer that, think about the impact that a lot of people bigger than him has not made. But go ahead and answer that. <laughs> I know some things he inspired. Like thug life. Guys and shit. Wow. Mm -hmm. So people watching me, most they ain't got no answers. Those who didn't get it, I think I had a bad signal, but we back. So what I was saying, what we, me and my kid for were talking about is that Gucci Man is more inspiring than Tupac ever was in 20 years he's been gone. And the proof is the rap industry of the last 10 years that Gucci Man has showed up. And especially when you think about how many people Gucci Man put on for us. Uh, he's dead, of course. He is not inspirational. Now, you know, like, listen. Okay, for example. Uh, I'm trying to think of someone. Like, when you think of people like Malcolm X and, and, th and people like that, he, is, he was inspired by someone, which was Elijah Muhammad, right? And Elijah Muhammad was a big name at the time. So he did his, he was inspired by Elijah. What I'm saying is, how many people has Tupac really inspired in the last 20 years? We talk about musically, uh, actor-wise, uh, this so-called revolutionary or whatever. Yeah, we talking about him. That's not to take away from what he's done. What he's done is one thing, but who says I'm inspired by Tupac for real? And actually showed that they are, because people like T.I. would say that, but he's not inspired by Tupac musically. He does, he, he had the ambition when he first started, like Tupac, but eventually, I guess when the money came, it was over. Gas I got. I ain't finna run out on. I ain't finna run on E. <laughs> on live, like nigga ran on E on live. He stuck on the side of the road. Hell no, nah, I got about 25 miles. I mean, cause you know, everywhere I look, I see shit like, you know, like I said, I love pop. I love pop music, just like I love R. Kelly. But R. Kelly was inspired by a, a earlier generation of people like Marvin Gaye. 
and a few others like that. But if I was to say that R. Kelly was inspired by Curtis Mayfield, for example, that is a lie. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like he had an important message. A lot of shit, a lot of shit popped in. People don't like people don't listen to Soldier Store. A lot of people don't even know the words. You know why? Because that was his first album. Like a lot of people don't know Jay Z's first album. They know about Volume Two, Volume Three. What's up, Reggie? They know about Volume Two, Volume Three, The Blueprint. But how many people know about Streets is Watching? Or Volume One in my lifetime, the song in my lifetime. So, not in my lifetime, but uh, you must love me. I think that was the best, one of the best songs Jay Z ever wrote. But not too many people talk about that song because they're more inspired by the later era of his sound. You know what I'm saying? I can say that KRS One influenced a lot more MCs than Pop ever did. Hey, when you look at the city, look at the city of Atlanta. How many people really inspired, was inspired by Outkast? Just look at they whole, look at they whole scene of rap. How many people are really inspired by Outkast? Gucci Man is more inspiring than them in Atlanta. Right. Yeah, pop, pop started a trend of being thugged out. Because this is Boo, uh, Boosie. Boosie even started saying that. And it pretty much, if you was just about that, you know, if you had the credibility, you could say it and get away with it. Boosie been saying it for, what, 10 years now? But remember, at the, at the era of that time, the reason he had a problem with Mob Deep is because they said it in a song. It's a song called Survival of the Fittest, right? Now, KRS One is inspiring because Bo Boogie Down Bronx is a movement. You can't even argue with that. KRS One started a movement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? African Bambada, for example, the Soul Sonic Force is a movement. It is a group of, a large group of people. That is a movement. Boogie Down Bronx, the Soul the, the Cold Crush crew, all those different movements, those are movements. They inspire more than just artists. You see what I'm saying? Dip said it is a movement. Think about it. Dip said it's a movement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it ain't popping now, but it was a movement. Look at how inspiring that was. Lil Flipper tell you, Lil Flipper, Houston, Texas, right? He wanted to have the same type of beast they did. He wanted to have the same type of style they did. Everybody was wearing pink. You get my pink, you get the big picture? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No one wants to be what Kendrick Lamar is. It's boring. And I love Kendrick Lamar. But it's boring being an MC because it's not popular. And it's not because we don't make it popular, the machine don't make it popular. That's the problem. Tupac, at the time, he was not inspirational. And I wish people could stop saying it. Because when he was alive, yeah, people loved him. But your love is one thing, but how inspiring was he? Yo, future, future got more inspiration over these niggas. Everybody is popping pills. Everybody sipping sir. Look at the Houston rap scene. Per another perfect example about everybody screwing their music. Everybody want to get involved. Uh, since Screw died, everybody want to get Michael Watts and OG Ron C to screw their music. And everybody sipping sir and, and, and mixing it with the Sprite called it Dirty Sprite. But that shit is 20 some years old. You see what I'm saying? That, that inspiration has reached all the way to Oakland, California, to Los Angeles, to Nebraska, to New Orleans, to, to New York. You get you did? Everybody's sipping lean. It's a it's a it's a it's a thing now. It's, it's the thing. But that's an inspirational thing. You feel me? 
Come on, Debra. You, you hell yeah, I did too. Look, they, remember, look, you grew up, you a little older than me. You remember when people thought that was crazy that you would put codeine <laughs> in a bottle and sip? You know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy. And now people do it like it's normal. You even see what black black youngster even after catching a damn no, I take that back. That was before he caught the charge. But hell, before that, hell he was throwing codeine in the bottle and sipping it in. You know, all in videos, everybody popping pills. That's a movement. Three Six Mafia is a movement. Gangsta Pat, out if Memphis style of music is a movement to a lot of people in the South. Not not a lot, but 90% of them, at least. We inspired Atlanta rappers, and when Outkast was Outkast, nobody gave a fuck. Nobody was inspired by Outkast music. And if we if we really want to be be honest, Outkast was inspired by Ball and G when they did their first album a little bit. Cause that Southern player list of shit was fake back in the line. What nobody being no Southern players? What nobody being no massive pimps? <laughs> and that's why they switched it up. They said, man, we can't do this shit. You feel me? I'm trying to read and drive. Y'all pray for me. Hold on. <laughs> I can't catch everything you said. Tupac will will only be inspirational to the I come my thing moving here. Hold on. They go down. All right, watch out, bro. Watch out. Watch out, nigga. <laughs> okay, get a turn like he want to cross the street. Who's that? Well, I'm going to take, take a listen to, to the message. You got to listen to comprehend. Yeah, like when you listen to a song like Outlaw, the the message that he brought to Outlaw is rah rah. Remember rah rah? I should have ran there. You saw that cat? I can't stand cats. If I'm on a two lane street, a cat finna get ran over. Straight up. I ain't losing my life for no animals. I ran over. I hit a fucking dog. He got up. He was okay, but I hit that nigga. We in a two lane street in Nashville. I'm not gonna fucking swerve and hit nobody else instead of hitting you. You finna get ran over, bro. Straight like that. This still got the white folk behind them. Yup, you're right. Cause they knew that style was like undeniable. They knew it. Cause they brought a new level of horrorcore music and they brought the gangster style and the bounce sound and the, and the bass sound and they made that shit, you know, way more inspiration than Tupac could ever be. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Think about Lil Wayne, for example. Lil Wayne was a blood, right? Lil Wayne had dreads, right? Tell me if I'm making this shit up. Lil Wayne had dreads, he was a blood. Everywhere you look, niggas had red flags and dreads. Am I lying? This was 2002, three, four, five ever. Am I making this up? That's inspirational. Inspirational, am I making that up? Cause you started looking like that. Everybody got dreads now. Damn, I'm making that shit up. Niggas still rocking dreads now. <laughs> and yeah, you got people like Fetty Wap who had a fucking fade and he put weave in just so he can have locks. Like he had to do it. And what that dude said, he said, I got to meet Gucci man. My life is complete and my career has been set. My nigga ain't done nothing in, in his career, but that's what he said. He said if he only could meet Lil Wayne too, which is his other inspiration. A lot of these dudes that's rapping in the last 20 years, and I'm gonna say after Pop 2, the last 20 years, a lot of people ain't inspired by Pop. They not. I know cats are harmless, but they roll in a two-lane street, and if they jump in front of my car, I'm not gonna kill myself for it. Let's do or die. I watch Scandal enough. You make the choice. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm like Huck. I wanna live. 
I'm gonna wait till these air pockets seal in and when this water fill up in the car, I'm getting the fuck out. One way or the other. I gotta pull the headrest and bash the window open. And as a whole, as a whole master, as as a bro, as a brought you some pizza from <laughs> last night. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it is 7:36. I demand my answers. I'm gonna take this shit to YouTube. We're gonna fight about this shit all day because everywhere I look, Pac was inspirational. Pac was revolutionary. Pac was an inspiration to so many people. Motherfucker, who? Yeah, we love dude. We love his music. It's addictive. It's aura. It's ambition and all that. Dude was amazing. But who has been inspired by that nigga? I'm just saying. I wish more people were. Like I said in the first part, I went. If crazy, crazy, if you see this video, bro, you are one of the people that was inspired by Tupac. And I'll say T.I. is one of the people that was inspired by Tupac. Why these niggas ain't inspired by Tupac lyrically? Just because you scream around, you gangster, that don't mean shit, nigga. Gangster rap was around before Pac was even alive. Well, well not alive, but y'all get my point before his career started. He was supposed to be inspirational. Key words, suppose. Just, I wish he was. Just like John, I wish John Henry Clark was more inspirational to black people. Fred Hampton, I wish everybody was really inspirational. Cause they were, but that shit dead. Like it's over. Like that's the like, like what Lupe said on that uh the cool intro. The days of Martin and Malcolm and Martin Luther have ended. Cash money, right? Inspirational. You know why? They brought the bling bling culture. Not saying they brought it, but they made it major. Cause Slick Rick was like flamboyant with the with the Jews and shit. But he made that they made it bling bling a word. Just like E40 had words, but they made bling bling a culture. One thing I can say about this neighborhood is that I'm probably, I'm still like probably the one of the youngest people who actually live in this neighborhood that pay bills. You know what I'm saying? But there's not too many young people like me that go to work, come home, pay his bills and shit. You did? It's not. But anyway. Y'all check this out. Give me your thoughts on the first or the second video. I'm still waiting on the inspiration from Tupac. And I'm talking about, show me that dude really was revolutionary. Show me that he really was inspirational. I wish he was, but he just wasn't. He never, he didn't make an impact. People bought his shit. They love this music. They listen to him. They love him to death. Hell, Eminem is more of an impact. Because a West Coast artist named Hobson, I just saw a dude comment. I'm pretty sure he replied to that. Somebody said Hobson is the new Tupac. They say Freddie Gibbs is the new Pop. And Freddie Gibbs is some is heavily influenced by Tupac. How many people recognize that Freddie Gibbs or even know who that is? They don't. One of the most successful independent artists is ignored by the public. And he's inspired by Tupac for real. I think I made my point. Y'all give me y'alls. I'm finna go in here and uh, have me a threesome with my pillow and blanket. Uh, I don't, where the damn tab at to cut this shit? Oh, I'm, I'm lunching. I'm pulling the tab down. I'm gonna hit this finish button. I'm out.